The Squid Research Lab recently announced that Splatoon's Urchin Underpass is going offline and under construction for a few days, from August 2nd to the 5th. Which is basically Nintendo's cute way of saying that when it comes back, it's going to have some changes. Now as part of that announcement, they released a picture covered in caution tape, along with a map of the level with some scribbles on it. Now at first glance, there doesn't seem to be much to see here. But as it turns out, that picture is actually a sneak peek at the new Urchin Underpass. And those scribbles? Yeah, they seem to show some of the upcoming changes. So you know what that means, it's time to whip out the analysis machine and see what secrets it might be hiding. Okay, so first things first, where exactly in Urchin Underpass was this picture taken? Well, do you see those colorful squids painted along the back wall? Those appear in only one place on the map. Okay, technically two because the map's mirrored, but you know what I mean. And that location is in the high walkway that leads from either half of the map to the center area. In fact, if we look down at the ground here, we can see the same yellow tiles that lead up to the steel ledge, just like in the current stage. So if we take a look at how the map currently appears, this is roughly the angle that picture was taken at. But if you take a closer look at that picture, you might start to notice it's not exactly the same. It's actually quite a bit different. So for starters, let's take a closer look at that area with the painted squids again. And as you can see, they're clearly still painted on the window, just like in the existing version. But take a look at this. It appears that the glass wall extends beyond the opening here, whereas in the current game, there's just a wall there. Now, if you take a look at the construction map, we can see that passageway represented here and here. Remember, there's two of them. But this time, we can see there are red marks over them that seem to show the new design, with those passageways now extending a fair amount beyond the current opening, specifically to about here. But why? After all, it looks like those extended segments are a dead end, but it could still function as an area to seek cover in from opponents in the middle of the map, which could be especially useful in some modes like splat zones. Or maybe there's even more to it. There is an odd scribble right next to it after all. At any rate, that's not the only change to this passage. Now in the current version, after you turn the corner, it's a straight shot to the end. Now in the new version, it looks like the quarter may bend early on. Now that bend also causes this portion to be set a little further back from the middle of the map than before, which also likely means that the entire wall here will be pushed further back in the game. But why would they make this change? Well, for one, by pushing that wall back, it makes the entire center of the map a little roomier. In addition, it might make camping in that corridor slightly less useful than before, since it'll be harder to completely dominate the middle of the map from further back. Particularly since the great ledge located in front of the opening in the current version appears to be missing from the new one, although it's hard to tell for sure. So taken all together, it might make the middle of the map slightly less of a war zone. Because part of the reason the middle is such a war zone as is, is because it's so open. I mean, there's really no good place to take cover at all. But it looks like the developers are fixing that too. Because if you take a look at the map, we can see two red circular marks in the middle. And as it turns out, we can actually see what one of them is in the picture. It's a brand new tree. Yeah, that wasn't there before. And since the map is mirrored, that means there has to be another tree on the opposite side right here. Which of course is exactly where that second circular mark is on the map. So those trees should make getting one-shotted here less of an issue. But it looks like those trees come at a price. Specifically, two other trees, being the ones found just outside each base. As we can see, they're crossed out on the map. But it's not really any big loss, so those trees are pretty out of the way anyway. Now something else that's noteworthy on the map is this box-like structure found on either side. Here it is in the current version, separating the two right paths that lead to the center. But on the construction map, it appears to have been redrawn in red ink to remove the innermost corner, which should be right here. This should make the area feel even more open. In fact, we can actually see one of the walls that should form that new corner in the picture right here. Although it is hard to tell for sure if it backs up our interpretation of the map. Regardless, the area around here has been changed pretty dramatically. Sort of. I mean, we can still see that a ramp leads from each base to the middle. And it even still has an arrow drawn on it. But this time, the ramp's a lot thinner than before. Hell, it doesn't even span the width of the walkway anymore, which we can tell by the yellow tiles here. You see, those tiles used to lead right to the dead center of the ramp, but now the ramp's clearly to the right of them, and is pushed up against the wall too. But by making these changes, it allowed the developers to create a second flat path parallel to it. But if you end up taking the ramp anyway and change your mind, there's a gap in the new railing here that you can use to drop from to the path below. Oh, and they added an inflatable barrier here too, just in front of the new flat path. So with that new path, what's the point of the ramp here? Could it really just be for a slight elevation change? Maybe. But we have a feeling there's more to it than just that. In fact, if we take a close look here, it almost looks as if there could be a new path in the wall right here. Now, of course, it could be nothing. After all, it doesn't appear to be reflected on the construction map. And we're not even quite sure where that path would go, although it could be an alternate means of reaching the raised walkway that was pushed back. Okay, that's enough about the ramp. Now, a smaller change is that the utility poles that used to be found near the center of the map appear to be missing now. So maybe the trees are acting as their replacement. Finally, let's take one more look at that steel plate ledge you mentioned earlier. Now it appears to still be in the same location, but there used to be metal grates on either side of it that you could use to drop through to the ground below. Well, those are completely gone. In fact, the barricade on the left has been pulled in closer so it's no longer sticking out, and it even closes the gap that used to be there on the left. 
And since the whole section has now been tucked in, there's no longer a need for it to form a corner as it used to. And there you have it, after everything we couldn't cover about Urchin Underpass's construction project. But as always, let us know if we missed anything about posting in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Splatoon and other things gaming too.